Right, students. Uh, question number four homework. Right, we will discuss question number four for a non-profit organization. Uh, in all level, uh, basically we need to prepare uh, income statement, income statement as well as uh, receipt and payment account. Receipt and payment account. Receipt and, receipt and payment account means cash book. Receipt and payment account means cash book. Okay, cash book. But then, uh, yeah. For a company, Amaya, when you're preparing financial statements for a company in advanced level, we need to prepare uh, we need to prepare cash flow statement. Cash flow statement also similar to receipt and payment account. Cash flow statement also uh, uh, similar to receipt and payment account. For a number of organization, we prepare receipt and payment account to present. Uh, uh, cash inflows and outflows to members, but a company, a company prepare cash flow statement to present cash inflows and cash outflows to their shareholders. Shareholders. Okay, then? right, right. I think uh, I have seen in one of the past paper. Uh. Financial statements prepared by a number of it technology. The yeah, answer, answer is uh, cash flow statement and income statement. Okay, the, uh, in the exam, examiner has provided cash flow statement. Cash flow means for a number of it technology, cash book, receipt and payment account. I can remember 2017 or 18 password. Without providing receipt and payment account, they have given it as cash flow statement. Then, right, right. Then, quickly we look at question number four. Lamai, uh, question number four, uh, in question number four, you need to prepare receipt and payment account. Simple, la. very simple. Okay, the cash book. Receipt and payment account. Right, quickly check your answer. Here, cash book balance brought forward how much? 21,750. And then, uh, substitution received. Substitution received, 57,000. 57,000. Rent expense, rent expense, 25,500. Cash outflow, cash inflow debit, outflow credit. Inflow debit, outflow credit. Huh? And then uh, donation from the government, donation, uh, 297,000. Donation from the government. Ceremony expenses, ceremony expenses, uh, 16,050. Cash outflow. Payment for food plan, food plan, food plan, 33,400 cash outflow, cash book credit. Food expenses, food expenses, 7,350 cash outflow. Interest income, cash inflow, interest income, cash inflow, 55,500 cash inflow. Interest for bank loan, uh, loan interest. Loan interest, how much? 5,250 bank loan interest. And then purchase of equipment. Equipment purchases, 42,000 cash outflow. Please check your answer. Please check your answer. And then uh, payment of salary, 18,000. Payment of salary, 18,000. Electricity expense, 13,500. Advertising expense, advertising. 16,650 advertising. Transportation expense, 2,850. All right. Answer for the question number four. Answer for the question number four. Answer for the question number four. Please check your answer. Please check your answer. Answer for the question number four. I can then here. Quickly calculate the balance carried down, closing balance. Calculate the closing cash balance from the business. Akshya, uh, how about the closing cash balance? Balance carried down, how much? Akshya. Ramesha, how much the balance carried down? Ramesha. Yes, Ramesha. So 260,700. 
Right. Okay, next slide. It is simple, simple cash book. What did we have done this type of cash book? Right. Quickly go to uh, students, quickly go to uh, question number six. Please go to question number six. Try to do question number six. Uh, last time we discussed question number five. Question number uh, six also similar to question number five. I will give you some time. Try to do question number six. Try to do question number six. Right, Lamai, uh, quickly go to question number six. Right here, look at the question number six here. Uh, given below is the cash receipt and payment account prepared by the treasurer of the Charuka Sports Club. After balancing the cash receipt and payment account, a credit balance of 234,900 existed in the account. But physically, 80,700 rupees worth of cash of the Sports Club was there with it. As per the cash book, the balance available is uh, 234,900 and that is wrong. 234,900 credit balance. Credit balance, that is wrong. That is wrong. But physical balance, how much? Physical balance, 80,700. Then, Lamai, students, closing balance of the cash book should be 80,700. But as per the incorrect cash book, the balance available in the cash book, how much? 234,900. That is strong. Incorrect balance. I then now you need to correct this cash book. You need to correct this cash book. Right. If you uh, corrected this cash book, the balance carried down of the cash book should be 80,700. Closing balance of the cash book should be 80,700. You should be able to calculate that amount. Right. This question, similar to question number five. Last time we discussed question number five. Right. Try to do something for this question. Should I try to do something uh, for this question? Question six. I will give you uh, 10 minutes. I will give you 10 minutes. Try to do this question within 10 minutes and send me answers. Huh? Everyone in the class need to send me answers. Oh, uh, if you can't send the answer, please uh, uh, send me the virus carry it down. Right. Quickly complete this question. Question 6.
ไปตัดจานเสียเลยแต่ทำไมอยากคุยกันเรื่องนี้แอนเซสอาจจะต้องอาศัยความมากเสียเขียวมีออสตินอาศัยดูเรื่องนี้แอนเซสแล้วที่เลนอร์รามิชาไปเชิญดิเซสคุณชมบุ๊กซิกส์ไปเลยโอเคสิลูก Right now, shall we discuss question six?
Uh, I got the answer from uh, All right. All right. Okay, right. Okay. Right. I got answers from Ramesha, Lagdi. Right, Lamai, uh, quick real discuss question number six. Uh, look at the question number six. We can't spend much time here. Look at the question number six. Uh, incorrect cash balance is 234,900 incorrect cash balance, but uh, based on the physical, uh, as per the physical cash count, as per the physical cash count, okay, physical cash balance is 80,700. Physical cash balance is 80,700. And uh, here they have given Incorrect cash book, incorrect receipt and payment account of the business. Right now, you need to correct this cash book. Right, we'll discuss a paper. Question. Question number six. Right. Here, at first, we'll write down balance brought forward. In this question, balance brought forward, they have mentioned in the credit side. Treasurer of the organization recorded balance brought forward in the credit side, but balance brought, brought forward, BBM balance. You need to record in the debit side, 22,200. Okay, opening cash balance, opening asset. Opening asset, you need to uh, record in the debit side of the cash book. Okay, debit side of the cash book. Right, and then uh, go to the debit side of the receipt and payment account. Subscription fee, 570,000. Subscription fee, all right. Subscription fee, cash inflow. Cash inflow, cash book debit. 570,000 cash inflow, cash book debit, substitution fee. Purchase of response equipment, ah, they have debited. But purchase of response equipment, we need to credit. Credit. Then, uh, resistance payment account credit. Uh, purchase of equipment. Purchase of response equipment. Purchase of response equipment, 120,000. Credit. Cash outflow. Cash outflow. And then balance carried down, right? Incorrect cash balance. Right now, look at the credit side of the cash book. Balance load forward balance, okay. Salaries and wages, salary. I will write down salary. Salary 297,000. Salary 297,000. Salary. And then donation received, donation. Donation received 72,900. Donation received 72,900. Donation received. Ah, sale of flags, cash inflow 24,600. 24,600. Sale of flag. Sale of flag. 24,600. Sale of flag. Refreshment expense 16,000 to one. Refreshment. Refreshment. 16,200. Refreshment, 16,200. Refreshment. Stationaries, cash outflow. Stationary cash outflow, 22,500. Purchase of equipment, 14,000. Purchase of equipment, 14,400. Cash outflow. Cash book credit, equipment account debit. That's a double entry. Printing charges of flags, printing charges, printing. 
20 charges, 60,800. 20 charges, 60,800. 20 charges. Miscellaneous expenses. Miscellaneous means there are some expenses. Different type of expenses. Miscellaneous expenses. Miscellaneous expenses. Miscellaneous expenses. 45,000. Miscellaneous expenses, 45,000. And then, and then maintenance of ground, 24,600. Maintenance of ground. 24,600. And then, fees for umpiring. Fees for umpiring. Fees for umpiring. 52,500. Right. Right. Now, I know you need to balance off. I got answers from Akshaya, Ramisha, Asidu. I love this. Right. Come on, quickly calculate the closing cash balance. Right. Now my debit side uh, total amount six hundred eighty nine thousand seven hundred six hundred eighty nine thousand seven hundred and transfer this balance to credit side. Right now you can calculate balance carried down and balance brought forward. Right. Six hundred eighty nine thousand seven hundred minus hundred twenty thousand. 297,000, 16,200, 22,500, 14,400, Yes, balance is 80,7. The amount is 80,700. Okay. That is a physical cash balance available in the business. Available in the business. Austin asks, clear not Austin. Austin. 
करेक्ट सर जनवरी I will give you ten minutes. Ten minutes. Well, my question is seven. Question seven. Question seven. Ah, uh, here. Pabalu Children's Community has five hundred members. The subscription fee per member is one fifty per month. A summary of cash transactions relevant to month of January two thousand twenty-three is given below. Summary of transactions for the month of January. 2023 is given below. Purchase of stationery 3400. Right. Purchase of stationery 3400. Expenses for internet facility 70. Income charge to income statement from selling magazine 6400. Postal expenses 160. Transport cost, printing charges, a uh, receipt of donations two thousand. Following additional information is also available. Income of four hundred from magazine sale is yet to be received. Yet to be received. We prepare cash book. Income is there, but we approve it. Relevant statement based on the, but cash book we prepare based on cash basis, cash inflows debit, cash out. 
income of 400 ton magazine sale is yet to be received. Second one, 30 members have not paid their membership fee for the month of January 2020. 30 members not paid their membership fee. Right, then here, you will need to pay a cash digital payment account. This is the payment account for the month of January 2023. For the month of January 2023. Right. Question number seven. Resident payment account. Resident payment account. Right. Now I look at the pension. Here. Papalu Chirizal community has 500 members. Subsection paper member is 150 per month. Ah. They have 500 members. They have 500 members. But out of 500 members, additional information number two, 30 members have not paid their membership fee for the month of January. 30 members not paid. 30 members not paid. It means the organization received Membership fee is only from 470 members. Only from 470 members. Only from 470 members. And then, and then the students, we received, organization received subscription fee only from 470 members. And then, monthly subscription fee received the amount in cash how much? 470 multiplied by 150. 150. Monthly subscription fee received to the organization. Received to the organization. Received to the organization. Here, yeah. how much amount? 470,000 multiplied by uh, 150. How much? How much? It's in cash, how much? 470 multiplied by 150. How much? Yes, Akshay, ask is correct. 70,500. Lamai, receive the amount in cash, 70,500. Is it clear? 70,500, or is it clear? Yes. Clear. Dilara, is it clear? Dilara? Yes. Yes, sir. right. I did Lamai, receive the amount in cash, 70,500. Then, subscription fee received. When is subscription? Subscription, subscription, 70,500, receiving cash. Cash inflow, cash inflow, subscription, 70,500. Right, finish. Done. And then here, purchase of station cash outflow, stationary. Stationary. Uh, 3,400. Cash outflow. Special 3,400. Expenses for internet facilities 70. Internet facilities. Internet facilities. Internet facilities 70. Cash outflow. Cash outflow. Okay, right. Next one. Income charge to income statement from selling magazines. Lamai. Income charge to income statement. We prepare income statement based on what? Based on accrual basis. Then income charge to income statement 6,400. 6,400. But mm, additional information number one income of 400 from selling magazine is yet to be received. 400 yet to be received. Ah, out of this 6,400, 400 yet to be received. Yet to be received means need to collect. Still, we haven't collected. Receivable. This 400 receivable to the business. Receivable to the organization. Based on accrual concept, for the income statement, we have charged 6,400. But the cash book, we need to debit or credit cash inflows or outflows. Here, out of the 6,400 seller magazine, 400 receivable, it means received in cash how much? 6,000. Receive the money in cash, 6,000. Then, sale of uh, selling magazines. Sale of magazines. 
sale of magazines. Six thousand. Sale of magazines six thousand. Sale of magazines six thousand. Okay, ne? Sale of magazines six thousand. Right. Look at the next one. Is it clear? Six thousand four hundred clear or not? Has it clear? Has it Six thousand clear or not? Has it Akshaya clear? Clear, sir. Clear. Ramesha clear or not? Ramesha. Clear, right. Then here, Lamai. Postal expenses 160, postal. Postal expenses 160, postal. Transport cost, transport. Transport cost uh, 200. Transport cost. Printing expenses, printing. 700. Printing. Receipt of donation now. Donation received, donation. Donations two thousand. Donation two thousand. Receive donation two thousand. Right. Right. Right now, I cash inflows to be cash outflows. Now you can buy some the question. Actually, uh, subscription fee receivable. Substitution in areas, we can record in cash book. Those are receivable balance, receivable. Receivable, we can record. Only cash inflows and cash outflows. Substitution in areas, substitution receivable, we can record in the CDA account. Clear, Akshya? Clear, sir. Right, right. Now, quickly calculate the closing cash balance of the business. Closing cash balance of the business, how much? And now I calculate the balance kind of balance brought forward. How much? Our closing cash balance uh, is not 7397. Is it correct? Closing cash balance. No, this is Akshaya. 
Right, tell me answer question, question is clear or answer is clear or tell me. Aksha is it clear, Aksha? Clear, sir. Yeah. Sanjali, answer is clear or Sanjali? Kamisha, clear or Kamisha? Lenora? Okay, the clear. Lenora? Yes, sir. Clear. Lagdil? Okay, the Lagdil? Okay, sir. Okay, right. Hasidu, okay, the Hasidu? Yes, sir. Yes, right. Clear. Dilhara, okay, the Dilhara? Okay. Yeah. Then what about uh, Austin? Is it clear? Okay, let's try. Right, Lamaya, quickly start question number eight. Quickly start question number eight. Right, please ask question number eight. Question number eight. I don't know even that. Question number eight. Uh, Prantar Sport Community has 300 members. 300 members. And then the subscription fee per member is 50 per month. A summary of transaction relevant for the year 2023. It should be uh, the Summary of the transaction relevant for the January. It should be relevant for the January 2023 is given below. January, yeah. January. It is for the January, yeah, for the month of January. And then a purchase of stationery, 8,400 expenses for internet, right? income charge to income statement from selling magazines, postal expense, transport, printing, and receipt of donation. Following additional information is also available. What are the additional information? Income of 1,500 from magazine sales is, is yet to be received. Yet to be received. Second one. 
10 members have not paid their membership fee for the month of January 2023. Payable postal expenses 160. Right. Right. Then now I, at first we need to look at the additional information of the business. Additional information. Look at the additional information. What are the additional information? First one, income of 1,500 from magazine sale is yet to be received. Now I, income charge to income statement uh, on sale of magazine 28,500. 28,500. Income charge to income statement. But out of that income, 1,500 yet to be received. 1,500 we need to collect. When you're preparing income statement, we have prepared based on approval concept. Then 1,500 uncollected amount, unreceived amount, we have added to this 28,500. And then from this 28,500, you need to remove, you need to deduct 1,500. You need to remove 1,500. Right. To calculate actual cash receipt, received amount from sale of magazines. From sale of magazines. Okay, then right. Then here, students, how much? 27,000. Sale of magazines, 27,000. Okay, then right. Now, answer uh, so here, sale of magazines. Magazine, 27,000. Right. Like clear, like Clear, like this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Right. And then my second one, second additional information. Ten members have not paid their membership fee. Ten members not paid. Number of members, 300. Number of members, 300. Out of 300, ten not paid. We received subscription fee only from 270 members. Then 270 members multiplied by multiplied by 50. 50. Multiply by 50. Then how much? How much the amount? How much the amount? Two seventy nine. Yes. Sorry. Two nine. Two nine. Two nine. Two nine. Forty thousand five hundred. Okay, Ramaya. Membership fee collected forty thousand five hundred. Then here write down membership fee. Forty thousand five hundred. Membership fee forty thousand five hundred. Okay, next. Right. Next one. Payable postal expenses was it? Ramaya. Postal expenses recorded in the income statement, 3,660. Okay, postal expenses, based on approval concept, 3,660. But out of this 3,660, 160 payable. 160 payable, then 3,660 minus 160 means 3,500 paid in cash. Paid in cash. 3,500 paid in cash. This 160 payable. In the cash book, we need to record only cash paid amount. Then cash book credit. Receipt and payment account credit. Postal expenses. Postal. Postal expenses, 3,500. Done. 3,500. Okay, right. Ne? right. And then now, I, now we record other uh, information. Purchase of stationery eight thousand four hundred. Stationery eight thousand four hundred. Uh, internet facilities. Internet facilities. Four thousand six hundred. Income charge from sale of magazine. All right. Postal expenses done. Transport nine thousand four hundred. Transport nine thousand four hundred. Transport. Printing 5,100. Printing 5,100. Donation received 30,000. Donation. Donation received 
Don't have to receive 30,000. Okay, that's clear. That's my calculate the closing balance. They will say total amount how much? They will say total amount how much? They will say total amount. Right. They've said total amount how much? They've said total amount. Uh, fifty four thousand five hundred. Is it correct? They've said total amount fifty four thousand five hundred. Is it correct? Okay, Ramisha, correct or no? Is it correct? They will say total amount 54,500, correct or wrong? Yes, yes, ne? Correct, right. And then, how I calculate the cost flow? Balance down how much? Balance guide down? 54,500 minus all other cash payments. How much closing balance? How much closing balance? Twenty three thousand five hundred, right? Eh? But twenty three thousand five hundred. Okay, then. Okay, then. Okay, then. Fine. Oshin, okay, then. Oshin. Okay, sir. Okay, bye. Can uh, Akshay, is it okay, Akshay? Yes, sir. Right. Now in this question, we will calculate the substitution for the January month. Huh? Sorry, uh, we, have, uh, we prepare a receipt payment for the January month. Now my, uh, here, here also you need to adjust this one to uh, using the given information, prepare the cash and receipt payment account for the, for the January month. For the January 2020. Okay, here write down. Uh, payment account for the January 2023 of the Sports Committee. For the month of January, yeah. Huh? Okay, then, right. Now, I please adjust your uh, uh, tutor, right. 
Now here, if examiner asks you to uh, now if examiner asks you to maybe a uh, income statement, sorry, cash book for the year. Let's say, let's say, let's say, if examiner asks you to prepare cash book for the year, cash book for the year, then when you calculate membership fee received amount. Okay, right? let's say examiner has asked you to uh, prepare a receipt of payment account for the year 2023, for the year. Then number of members 300 out of number of members, 10 members not pay their membership fee. Means 290. Then 290 into here subscription uh, fee per month is 50. Per month 50. Then 290 multiplied by 50. And then you need to multiply it by 12, 12 to calculate annual amount. To calculate annual amount for 12 months. 290 into 50 per month multiplied by 12. 12 months, then you can calculate annual subscription fee received in that. Okay, next, if, if examiner asks you to uh, uh, prepare a receipt of payment account for the year, for the year. Okay, if they have given a monthly subscription fee, then you need to multiply it by 12. If examiner provided you to uh, provided you the annual subscription fee, then no need to multiply it by 12. But if it is monthly, then you need to multiply it by 12. Okay, right. Right. Okay. Right, question eight is okay. Okay, right. Right. Uh, Ramesha, do you have exams on fifth member? I can't hear you, Ramisha. Ramisha, do you have exam on R7? R7 turn, but R7. Right, right. Students, uh, Ramisha asked, uh, uh, told me to discuss uh, one question from uh, correction of errors, grade 10. Uh, because of uh, exam on 7th November, quickly we will discuss one of the questions from correction of errors. Quickly we will discuss. Huh? Quickly we will discuss. Right. Uh, quickly discuss one of the questions from correction of errors. Uh, this question we discuss. Shall we discuss past paper at first? A past paper question. Ramesha, shall we discuss a past paper? Past paper question. Okay, then. right.
Right, the students uh, 2021-22 paper. Right, uh, Lamai, do you have a password book? If you have the past paper book, uh, can I get the past paper book? Right, uh, let me uh, look at this question here. Following is a trial balance of Kasun's business as of 31st January 2022. Kasun business. And then Lamai, suspense account balance is 30,000. Balance available in the suspense account is how much? 30,000. 30,000. The following accounting errors are identified in preparing about trial balance. Right, and then these are the errors and required suspense account before rectifying above errors. Ah, suspense account before rectifying above errors. Right, before rectifying the above errors. You need to calculate suspense account balance of the business. Suspense account balance of the business. And then, and then here, journal entries to rectify the power errors. To rectify these errors, you need to uh, arrange journal entries. Right, here, suspense account debit side 30,000. Now, here, give me a minute. Uh, I will send you this. Uh, Paper to your WhatsApp, Now, uh, you can get this paper from the WhatsApp group, huh? Look at the WhatsApp group. Right, quickly look at the paper. Here, suspense account, debit side balance is 30,000. Suspense account, debit side balance is 30,000, debit side. Huh? I think uh, it should be a suspense account after rectifying above errors, not before. Yet yeah, they have given a suspense account uh, before, before rectifying above errors, not before. I think it should be 
after occupying above with us. They have given suspense account balance, then? They have given suspense account balance. I think it is not before. It should be after rectifying above with us. Right. We will see. Right. Right. Tagal Alu Bala Mai Minwana. Suspense account opening balance is 30,000. Suspense account opening balance is 30,000. 21, 22 paper. Little paper. Pass paper. Suspense account balance is. Uh, difference in the trial balance. Difference in trial balance, 30,000. Difference in trial balance, 30,000. Okay, difference in trial balance, 30,000. They have given the difference. Examiner has pointed to the difference. Right, and then. Look at the uh, first class section. First class section says that first class says that hmm? first class paid telephone charges six thousand has been recorded as eight thousand in the telephone charges account. Ah, uh, paid telephone charges six thousand has been recorded as eight thousand in the telephone charges account. Now, why? After paying telephone charges, after paying telephone charges, okay, ne? What's the double entry? Cash book carry six thousand. Telephone charges account debit 6000. Telephone charges account debit 6000. 6000. That should be the correct answer. But what they have done here, telephone charges account, they have recorded it as 8000. In the telephone charges account, they have, uh, they have recorded it as 8000. In the telephone charges account. Then here, here, Lamai, if you prepare the time balance of this business, credit size 6000, debit side 8000. If you prepare the balance of this business, they decide 8,000, they decide 6,000. Then definitely, both are not equal, therefore definitely, this 2,000 you have transferred to suspense account. To balance the tire balance. And then the mind, they decide 8,000, they decide also 8,000. Definitely you have transferred this 2,000 suspense account. Right now, how to correct this error? Okay, at the end of the period, suspense account balance should be eliminated, removed. Then, now I how to correct. Huh? Suspense account debit 2000, telephone charges account debit 2000. Suspense account debit, telephone charges account credit. Then, suspense account debit, telephone charges 2000. Suspense account debit, telephone charges account credit. That's the double entry. Double entry in the general journal, students, suspense account debit. Uh, 2000 telephone charges account debit sorry credit 2000 that's the double entry suspense account debit telephone charges account credit that should be the double entry Ramisha is clear Ramisha clear right next one B paid 16000 to creditors has been credited to relevant creditors account. Now I paid 16,000 creditors name. Paid 16,000 creditors. What they have done? What they have done? Here, paid 16,000 creditors credited to creditors account. Now I, if the business organization paid 16,000 creditors, what's the double entry? Uh, what's the double entry? Cash credit 16,000. Creditors account debit 16,000. Credit account debit 16,000. But what they have done? What they have done? Huh? This 16,000, they have credited to creditors account. Credit account value. That's the thing that they have done. And then because of this reason, huh? debit side no balance is the tire balance. But credit side, debit side no balance, but yeah, but is credit side total amount of money. 32,000. If you prepare the tire balance of this business, they decide no balance, but in the credit side, total on 32,000. Then why? Definitely, you transfer the difference to suspense account. 
to the suspension card you debit this there 2000 then debit side there 2000 credit side there 2000 both side balance but how to correct this error now why cash no credit that is okay that is correct but you can't credit into creditors account then how to correct this error a uh, suspense account credit 32000 credit 32000 creditors account debit 32 okay suspense account credit creditors account debit i did that after debiting this 32000 creditors account remaining balance is how much 16000 remaining balance 16000 then how to correct this how to write down the double entry uh, creditors account uh, debit 32000 suspense account credit 32000 suspense account credit 32000 suspense credit 32000 suspense credit then here creditors suspense credit creditors 32000 okay ramesha clear ramesha is it clear ramesha Look at the C. Look at the C. Here, paid building repairing expenses 100,000 has been debited to building account. Now, my building repairing expenses 100,000 debited to building account. That's the issue. Okay, yeah. building repairing expense. Building repairing expense was a double entry. Uh, cash book credit. Uh, 100,000 billing repair account debit 100,000 repair in account debit 100,000. But what they have done without debit into repair account, billing account they have debited. They have debited to billing account. They have debited to billing account. Cash book credit, billing account debit. Now I both side equal. Debit side and credit side equal. Debit side and credit side equal. They are for no impact suspense account. No impact suspense account. But there, there is an issue. Building repair, they have recorded as building expenses. Then how to correct? Uh, building account credit 100,000. Building account credit 100,000. Building repair account debit 100,000. Building repair account debit 100,000. Like how to go or uh, write down the double entry. Building repair account debit 100,000. Building account credit 100,000. And after passing these double entries, suspense account is eliminated. Balance of the suspense account is eliminated. Eliminated. Okay. 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 Right. Right. Okay. Then uh, next day we'll discuss. Uh, income statement of non profit organization and uh, within another two days we will try to complete this lesson anyway uh, uh, december onwards we need to discuss we need to start paper tasks okay december onwards we need to start paper tasks uh, we will try to complete whole syllabus at the end of the uh, month of november okay and then uh, for the paper class, I am going to revise your class fees. Uh, my target is to uh, reduce some amount from your class fees. Then I will inform you. Then okay. I will revise your class fees. Revising means here yeah, I need to reduce some amount from your class fees. Uh, we will see later. Okay. But anyway, we will try to complete this whole syllabus within November 1. Okay. Then this is we can discuss papers. Right. Then it should us. I will show for the day, huh? right? Right, right. Right, good night. Thank you, sir. Okay, right, good night. Okay. Yeah.